Hello everybody, this is Helen Saturiadis with a quick tip for Photoshop. Sometimes you want to change the look of an image, but you're not sure if you might change your mind later on. For example, you might want to convert your image to black and white, but you want to retain the option of changing it back to color later. Many people edit their image with the classic adjustments that are available under Image, Adjustments. For example, I'm going to convert my image to black and white by going to Image Adjustments Black and White or hitting Alt Shift Control B on a PC or Shift Command Option B on a Mac. I'm not going to fiddle with the sliders for the moment. I'll simply press OK. My image is now black and white and it looks fine. However, I might want to change my mind or tweak the color sliders later on to change the quality of my black and white. This isn't possible now because I've removed the color information from the image. If I try to re-edit the image with the same method, I see no change when I adjust the sliders. I'm not happy with being limited like that, so I'm going to undo my changes and try again. But instead of using the classic black and white adjustment, I'm going to create an adjustment layer. To undo my changes until the previous save, I'm going to use the File Revert command or press F12 on my keyboard. To create a new black and white adjustment layer, I head over to the Layers palette and click on the fourth icon on the bottom of the palette. In the Adjustment Layers pop-up, I can select black and white. The Adjustment palette automatically appears with sliders that are similar to the ones I saw before. Again, I'm not going to make any changes, and I notice that I don't even have to press an OK button. Now I'm going to examine what happened on my Layers palette. Photoshop has created what looks like an empty layer over my original background layer. It's automatically named black and white, but I can double-click it and change the name to whatever I like. I can also turn off this layer by pressing on the eye icon. Off, on, off, on. I can decrease the opacity of a layer to let some color show through. Anytime I like, I can change the look for my black and white by reopening the adjustment and playing with the sliders. To do this, I double click on the adjustment layer icon on the palette. The adjustment layer palette reappears and I can tweak the sliders to get a look that I like. For instance, I can make the areas that were originally green darker or lighter. And I can do the same for the yellows. This method provides a great deal of flexibility because I can freely return to this adjustment as many times as I like during the editing process. And the original image is never destroyed. This is what we mean by non-destructive editing. Another great thing about adjustment layers is that I can limit the areas where they affect the image. The white thumbnail on the layer palette is, in actual fact, a layer mask. If I invert it or make it black, I turn off the mask. I can turn it on again by making it white. I can also use a brush to paint over the areas where I want the effect to appear. If I paint with black, the monochrome goes away. If I paint with white, it comes back. I'm going to bring back the colors on Danbo's eyes just for fun. That's my quick tip for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon.